In the intricate tapestry of particle physics, annihilation emerges as a captivating and fundamental process that unveils the profound interplay between matter and antimatter. At the heart of this phenomenon lies the collision and subsequent disappearance of particles and their corresponding antiparticles, a transformative dance that converts mass into energy. Annihilation processes not only contribute to our understanding of the subatomic world but also find applications in various scientific domains, from medical imaging to astrophysics. This exploration dives into the intricacies of annihilation, its theoretical underpinnings, experimental manifestations, and broader implications for our comprehension of the cosmos. At the foundation of annihilation lies the concept of antimatter, a mirror image of conventional matter with opposite quantum properties. Each particle in the standard model of particle physics has its antimatter counterpart, possessing the same mass but opposite charge and other quantum characteristics. For example, the electron, a negatively charged particle, has an antiparticle called the positron, which is positively charged. When a particle encounters its antiparticle, they can annihilate each other, a process guided by the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics. The key player in this cosmic drama is Einstein's iconic equation, E equals mc squared, which encapsulates the equivalence between energy and mass. During annihilation, the mass of the particle and antiparticle is converted into energy, giving rise to photons or other particles. Of the most well-known instances of annihilation occurs in the collision between a positron and an electron. Positrons, being antimatter counterparts of electrons, possess positive charge. When a positron and an electron come into contact, their opposite charges attract, leading to an annihilation event. The total energy of the electron and positron is transformed into energy carried away by gamma-ray photons. This process adheres to the conservation laws of energy and momentum, fundamental principles that govern particle interactions. Positron-electron annihilation is not merely a theoretical concept but a phenomenon harnessed in various scientific and technological applications. In the realm of medical imaging, Positron Emission Tomography PET, relies on the detection of gamma rays produced by positron-electron annihilation. Radioactive traces containing positron-emitting isotopes are introduced into the body, and as positrons collide with electrons in the tissues, their annihilation produces detectable gamma rays. By mapping the distribution of these gamma rays, PET scans provide valuable insights into physiological processes and aid in the diagnosis and monitoring of various medical conditions. The understanding and manipulation of annihilation processes extend beyond the confines of laboratory experiments and medical applications. Astrophysicists contemplate annihilation in the grand cosmic theater, particularly in the context of antimatter interactions in the vast reaches of space. While the prevalence of antimatter in the observable universe is limited, annihilation events between cosmic rays and ambient matter contribute to the production of high-energy gamma rays. The study of these gamma rays provides astronomers with a unique window into the energetic processes occurring in celestial bodies, such as supernovae, pulsars, and even the enigmatic regions surrounding supermassive black holes. Algal blooms also play a pivotal role in our understanding of the early universe. The prevailing model of the Big Bang suggests that matter and antimatter were created in equal amounts during the initial moments of cosmic expansion. However, the universe we observe today is predominantly composed of matter, with very little antimatter evident. The asymmetry between matter and antimatter remains one of the central puzzles in cosmology. Studying annihilation and its consequences in the context of the early universe may offer crucial clues about the mechanisms that led to the observed matter-antimatter asymmetry. In the laboratory setting, scientists meticulously design experiments to observe and characterize annihilation processes. Particle accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider LHC, at CERN, provide the high-energy environments necessary for creating and studying particle-antiparticle pairs. Experiments at these facilities involve the controlled collision of particles and antiparticles, allowing researchers to investigate the properties of the particles produced during annihilation events. 
The insights gained from annihilation studies extend our comprehension of the quantum realm and contribute to the refinement of theoretical frameworks, such as quantum electrodynamics QED. QED is a quantum field theory that describes the electromagnetic interactions of charged particles, incorporating the principles of quantum mechanics and special relativity. The precision of experimental measurements related to annihilation processes has played a crucial role in testing and validating the predictions of QED, affirming its status as one of the most successful theories in physics. The theoretical framework for understanding annihilation processes extends beyond QED. Quantum chromodynamics QCD, another pillar of the standard model, describes the strong force that binds quarks into protons, neutrons, and other hadrons. In the high-energy regimes of particle accelerators, quark-antiquark annihilation processes become relevant, providing a fertile ground for studying the dynamics of QCD. As physicists push the boundaries of our understanding, they explore exotic scenarios where particles beyond the standard model may participate in annihilation processes.